Hello, I am Chris Picard and I am going to be sharing with you today some amazing facts about nitric oxide and nitric oxide boosting supplements. Before I start though, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with everything that I'm discovering in the world of health, fitness and longevity. And hit the bell button as well so you actually get a notification. Now you're going to want to stay to the end because I am going to tell you something very surprising about nitric oxide and give you more about, well, what you're actually trying to achieve with nitric oxide. I'm going to tell you some ways and where to get it um, that are going to be even better. So nitric oxide, what is it first of all? Well, nitric oxide is a gas and it's used in your body for various reasons. It's a signaling molecule. Okay, so it means it's very important for the brain. So it's great for memory, it's great for protecting your brain. It's also a signaling molecule inside your immune system and your anti-inflammatory system. So it's very important that you have the right amounts for your immune system to work properly and for you to bring down inflammation. And one time you create a lot of inflammation is when you exercise. So it's actually very useful for endurance. And there's one particular area I'm pointing down here for men that men are very interested in endurance in, um, or perhaps they're having some problems down there. And nitric oxide gets searched a lot for that reason. I know because I have a video that I did two years ago on a simple exercise that you can do that actually helps release nitric oxide from your blood vessels into the bloodstream so it can get to work. And it's had about a quarter of a million views so far. So I thought I'd do a follow-up to show people actually how to boost the glutathione, the, not the glutathione, the nitric oxide, as well as just release what you already have. So it's great for physical endurance, supports the immune system, anti-inflammatory, um, and yeah, it also helps uh, optimize the liver and kidney function as well. So very, very, very important. So how do you go about boosting it? Well, if you go and look at all the supplements out there, there are some specific things that tend to be in there, and I'm gonna tell you the exact amounts Okay, then I'm going to do something better. I'm just doing this for completeness. So L-arginine is usually the first thing that's in a nitric oxide boosting supplement. And you need to really make sure there's at least five grams because that's what most of the studies have been done on. However, a lot of arginine gets broken down. And so you actually, it's better to have something called um, arginine alpha ketoglutarate. So often there'll be five grams of arginine, there'll be a gram of, alpha, of arginine alpha ketoglutarate, then there'll be L-citrulline in there because that's critical for the process of turning arginine into nitric oxide. I'm not quite sure of the entire mechanism. And then some of them contain something called yahimba bark as well, and also pomegranate extract because this helps to sort of protect and make the whole system work. You only need like a small amount, like six milligrams of yahimba bark and maybe half a gram of pomegranate, pomegranate extract. So those are the things you're looking for in a supplement. But here's the thing, okay? The only way that arginine is going to help you is if you actually have an arginine deficiency. So if you are already eating lots of meat and, and protein, you're probably not arginine deficient. And these nitric oxide boosting supplements are a complete waste of money. So where do you go? Well, first of all, eat more of eat more protein, but there's something better that I'm saving for the next video. But what I have found works really, really well is a superfood called Ganoderma lucidum. And I've got a number of videos about this before because what Ganoderma lucidum does is it not only helps you make the right kind of nitric oxide, it actually helps decrease, because when you have certain forms of inflammation, nitric oxide goes out of control and actually causes more problems. But what Ganoderma lucidum does is it basically helps control and bring down inflammation, but it also helps you produce nitric oxide where it's needed. So in the brain, um, in the areas that you want it, and it also has lots of other health effects as well. So it's not just about boosting nitric oxide, it's actually something that's really good for the entire body. It helps protect you from environmental pollutants, the whole lot. And it seems to be even better when you actually add it to hot drinks. And something we already know is that coffee can also help nitric oxide production. 
So when you put Ganoderma in hot coffee, because again, Ganoderma seems to work better when it's heated, when you put it in coffee, it's even better. But if you're a man and you're looking for some light, late night action, okay, it's even better in hot chocolate and possibly even better to use Ganoderma lucidum mycelium, which is the root. And we actually sell hot chocolate with about three grams of mycelium in it. And that has a good effect. So if you are interested in that, and if you're interested in actually finding out more ways to actually work your whole system to get the desired effects, whether you're looking for endurance, whether you're looking for better health, decreasing inflammation, then sign up for my seven days to less pain program. It's free. And even if you're not in pain, you're going to learn some strategies that are going to help the whole of your health. So I'll make sure I've got the link to that. And hopefully I'll put somewhere in here the link to the nitric oxide releasing exercises as well. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel and look and look out for the link for the less pain. I'll put it in the description below and I'll probably put a card around here as well. Be well, be fantastic, be magnificently healthy.